Hello, peeps. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. And I've just been looking at my two books of uh, A.A. Milne poems, deciding which ones to read. Uh, they're wonderful, wonderful poems with wonderful, wonderful illustrations. Um, today I've come down on two particular ones. The first one is Lines and Squares. Um, it's quite a, what's the word? A special poem. Oh, well, they're all special, but quite a, can't think of the word. It'll come to me. Uh, I'm going to show you the illustrations in the book. Oh dear, well coloured in by a small boy whose name probably should remain nameless. Can you see there's some, um, I'll come back to these, they're wrong side. There, oh, uh, fiddlesticks, that one, there we go. Uh, so there we have a picture of Christopher Robin walking along, making sure he doesn't tread in the lines, on the lines, but places his feet very firmly in the squares to make sure that the bears don't get him. And uh, you see the bears there all over the place trying to uh, just wait for him, for him to tread on a line. Anyway, let, anyway let's have the poem. Lines and Squares by A. A. Milne. Whenever I walk in a London street, I'm ever so careful to watch my feet. And I keep in the squares. And the masses of bears who wait at the corners, who are ready to eat the cities who tread on the lines of the street go back to their lairs. And I say to them, bears, just look how I'm walking in all the squares. And the little bears growl to each other. He's mine as soon as he's silly and steps on a line. And some of the bigger bears try to pretend that they came around the corner to look for a friend. And they try to pretend that nobody cares whether you walk on the lines or squares. But only the sinners believe their talk is ever so important how you walk. And it's ever so jolly to call out, Bears, just watch me walking in all the squares. And let's look at those pictures again. There we go, some very unhappy bears, unable to get Christopher Robin, uh, because he's being a very good person, not walking on the lines. Great poem, eh? as are they all. Okay, the second one of the day, the second one of the day. That was from, uh, now we are six, no, when we were very young. This is from now we are six. And uh, it's called Wind on the Hill. Um, <laughs> wonderful poem. Uh, and the illustrations by E. H. Shepherd are oh, just special. Um, there we go, it's uh, on the other side, there we go, that side. So I don't, don't know, I literally don't know my left from my right. Uh, I'm a bear of very small brain. So it's uh, that one, that's where we go. So there we have wind on the hill and there. That picture, that picture is so, so evocative. That is, I suppose the man or the person running, the figure sort of running is the wind. That represents the wind and poem goes like this. Wind on the Hill by A. A. Mill. No one can tell me, nobody knows where the wind comes from, where the wind goes. It's flying from somewhere as fast as it can. I couldn't keep up with it, not if I ran. But if I stopped holding the string of my kite, it would blow with the wind for a day and a night. And then when I found it, wherever it blew, I should know that the wind had been going there too. So then I could tell them where the wind goes. But where the wind comes from, nobody knows. Very exciting. And there's the, uh, the other side. Uh, done it again. That side. The other left, or is it the other right? There we go. And there's a picture of the kite having landed. So Christopher Robin knows where the wind has gone. But he doesn't know where it's come from. Ah, they're wonderful poems, aren't they? Okay, I think we'll call today there, peeps. Um, I do hope you're having a wonderful time. Do you like my shirt, by the way? It's a fairly new one. Let's uh, it's wash it sometime, of course. Uh, what a story. Uh, Got to wash now and then, whether you need to or not. Reminds me of a story of um, a some mariners used to be in the Royal Navy and uh, they had a bit of a reputation because they were down under the sea, you know, spending a long time under the sea and uh, <laughs> the 
the story goes, Submariners would say, I wash my socks once a month, whether they need it or not. And I'm sure that some mothers can relate to that. Anyway, folks, have a great day and see you next time.